Welcome to this week's episode of Fly Rod Chronicles. We're out here at the Snake River with natural retreats at the South Fork Outfitters. We got our family, some of the most crazy and best guides that the West has got to offer. This is the Big Leagues. Traveling the world, fishing, enjoying the great outdoors. Those are things that would have seemed impossible to me when I was a kid growing up in the mountains of West Virginia. I'm a lucky man and I never want to forget it and I'm hoping that sharing my experiences with folks will inspire them to do the same. I'm Curtis Fleming and these are my Fly Rod Chronicles. Shelly and I, we brought the girls out to Swan Valley, Idaho. Without the dollars fishermen and hunters pay in the form of license, there's no way many of our fine sports fish and game could survive. And that's why I never mind paying for my fishing license. All right, three dayer, so that comes with a guarantee of big fish, right? Only if you know how to catch them. But you're with the best guides in the world, so I mean... Yeah, but they're, they're with maybe one of the worst fishermen <laughs> in the world. Huh? At the same time, meeting our awesome team of guides. Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Brad, Curtis. Brad, nice to meet you, Curtis. 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 We got pies, we got pies right here. And a fish are waiting. What about mom? Oh, call oh, her. Her. Well, hey, this could be a good day. We can sneak <laughs> out without it. Ah. <laughs> good. We better find her and get her. Yeah, out. we better. Then we've got her. South Fork of Snake is the World Series of Fly Fishing. I mean, it is the big leagues. From what I understand, some of the most crazy and best guides that the West has got to offer. I'm with Eric, you're with Brad. All right, you ready to hit the water? Hey, All right. We got browns, we got rainbows, we got yellowstone cutthroat. We actually have a snake river fine spot cutthroat. Wow. And a hybrid, which actually equals fine. But just realize today all five of those fish eat in a different manner. You know, wow. The browns and rainbows will hit it fast. Right. The cutties go like this. They just you're gonna see them coming and you just have to wait. Let them eat it and then set the hook and all of us, we pull it away. We call it farming. Yeah, yeah. You know, oh you yeah. farmed that one. Yeah. He was coming and you rip it away from him before the mouth is shut. Yeah. So, when you see that slow fish coming, just try to hold on and let him eat it. Yeah. About four days ago, we had a water drought. All right. Which usually occurs at the end of August. Yep. This year it's happened about a month early. Everything's nice. a month early. And it kicks off a mutant stonefly that will only live in a few rivers in the west. And this is one of them. All right. You can see it has a vestigial wing. Hang on a minute. What did he say? Vestigial. Vestigial wing? I had to run to the Oxford Dictionary on that one. It says, degenerate, rudimentary, or atrophy, having become functionless in the course of evolution. In other words, it's a wing that ain't a wing no more for some reason. And this is what we're gonna want you to do with your fly today. Okay. Make it twitch, we're gonna get action on the fly. Do it, all right. When we attacked the river, it was by drift boat. Taking my family safety first. It is a very unforgiving river. The hydraulics, the different chambers of water, there's a lot of lives lost on the South Fork of the Snake in here. You've got pockets to hit. If you make a cast and miss that pocket, there's no going back. You miss that pocket. And in my mind, every pocket has got a 30 inch fish in it that I missed. Hey. Um, it's not a competition, but it is about the biggest fish. Okay, love you. My first question to our guide was, how do you know when you got a fish on? Well, my guide and three other guides started laughing. They said, you'll know when you got a fish. Oh, there he goes, oh yeah, <laughs> I love it. Talk to me, talk to me. Eric, that's awesome. 
<laughs> Look at that. That's my favorite sound right there. I love it. I love it. That's it. That's the cutthroat. The reason they call it the cutthroat. Yeah, let's give them a quick. That's that is so cool. Yeah, I mean this one has the nice orange fins. Yeah. Pure fish. This is not a hybrid. This is a pure yellow sand cutthroat. You really can only catch in about a hundred mile circle around Jackson. Park. That's crazy. And look you here. Can catch rainbows and browns all over the world. But this fish only lives here. Yeah. It lives right now. And I know Hostess went out of business, but that's that's a twinkie. <laughs> he took off one you didn't. They don't usually go that bad. We're out here at the Snake River, here with Natural Retreat at the South Fork Outfitters. You know, it's pretty cool. We got Shelly right over here. Got my daughters coming down on the Snake River. I mean, growing up, this is what I dreamed about, being able to bring your family out and fish a river like this. Food just tastes better in the outdoors, especially when you're doing some real physical fishing in the American West. And a good shore lunch is one of the few things that can drag me off the water. Where are going? If you can tell, I've had lunch here. Huh? Thank you. Yeah. You yeah. feed the Buddha? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm ready to go now. Well, cool. Let's try something a little different after lunch. We, you know, we had some pretty good action on that dry fly this morning, that first hour. Yeah. But yeah. we've we've gone pretty hot. You know, we're kind of record-breaking temperatures this week. There, but we're gonna go ahead and do the old hopper dropper. Fishing droppers can be very productive on big water out west especially a big, fast-moving river like the snake. The concept is simple. You tie a dry fly on the end of your tippet like normal, maybe a big old bushy attractor pattern, or in this case, a hopper. Then you attach another piece of tippet with a nymph of some sort. This way, you get the best of both worlds, working the surface and beneath. Sound good? Yeah, we're not gonna tell the girls this. Nah, we're not. All right, yeah. Nah. He come up out of there, but he come running out of there. He come, hey, he come running out of there. You're, you're like, go, go, go. Yeah, woo, hoo, hoo. And it's bigger than Shelly, <laughs> Let's bring him to the left side yeah. of the boat, Curtis. Now let's take him over by Shelly. Let's take him over and show him off. Rainbow, yeah. <laughs> They say a picture is worth a thousand words, but video of Shelly fishing? Man, I can't say one word. Not if I want to stay married. Oh my gosh, 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 gosh. What? No! Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh man, I'm not having any luck with this leader thing. Oh, if I lose this one. Oh my gosh. What's a whitey? Yes! Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, he's a nice one too. everybody doing? What a day. What a day, huh? Pretty good day. Pretty nice fish, some yeah. good eats, uh, some good fish to the boat. I think that heat took its toll on us. I don't think it hurt my two monster catches. <laughs> okay, let's hear it. Let's Just hear it. saying. <laughs> Brad is bad, that's what we call him. Bad Brad, that's He's what we call him. There you go. So putting Brad on the spot, so he got to be your god today. So, you know, I've, I've been her god now for so, so what, what, what was it like? I mean, did she do all right? Yeah, you know, she started out maybe a little rusty, but she yeah. got been fly fishing probably for a while, so yeah. that's understandable. And the girls, they loved it. Yeah. The girls had a great time. Really great place to take a family. What you guys are really doing right now is catering to families. It's not just about the guys. Uh, yeah, we do a lot of families where, you know, maybe all four of them are diehard fishermen. Yeah. Or maybe just the dad wants to fish, right? right. 
mom wants to come in the back of the boat. We bring binoculars and an umbrella for shade and she can watch those birds we were looking at. How many eagles did we see today? You know, you, you don't have to just come here and fish. Thanks guys, we cannot wait to get back out on the water. Curtis, it was a fun to meet you, fun taking you fishing, fun to meet your family. You got a great one, yeah. Brad, thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So, being out here at the South Fork Lodge, natural retreats, and all the laughter, good friends and family, what it's all about. So, who's going to dig in first? My idea. All right, so. opportunity to fish a river like the snake you don't want to waste time sleeping in I want to spend as much time on the water as possible you know just the snake river in itself is incredible angling purists consider the South Fork of the Snake River one of the best dry fly fisheries in the entire nation we guide 65 miles of the South Fork of the Snakes. We've got the best guides in the entire nation right here on the South Fork. We've got 30 guides, uh, about 15 of which work full time for us throughout the year. The South Fork of the Snake, the canyon section where we fish, has the greatest wildlife diversity in the whole greater Yellowstone ecosystem. So we fish for cutthroats, rainbows, and brown trout. This is a trophy fishery, and we have fish uh, caught every single day, over 20 inches of each species and that is home to the largest nesting bald eagle population outside of Alaska. So we're changing things up a little bit today, huh? Yeah, we're down here on the main snake. We're gonna be uh, looking for some big fish. Got the jet bolts today. We're gonna go hit the best spots and uh, hopefully come back with something really big. Nice, big water, big fish. That's the way we're thinking. Okay. There you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, huh? I'm psyched. This is, yeah. yeah. Hey. Well done. Yeah. Let him, yeah, let him run. Even that, even that size of fish will break yeah. you off. So that's in the spring here, isn't it? Yeah, okay. yeah. We came up in here a little more, and the water cleared up, and now we're sight fishing them. And, and literally, you're talking about sight fishing, the only way I knew I had that fish. You saw him open his mouth? Yeah. 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 That's the yeah. only way. Yeah. Is that a rainbow? That's a, that's a rainbow. Oh, nice. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. That's awesome, bro. Good start. Good nice. start. Nice. Game is on. One down. We're ready to go. Yep. Yeah. Go. It's time for this week's Trout Unlimited Take of the Week. Oh, he's one of Right under it. Let him run. Let him run. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. Look at him. Look at him, bro. <laughs> that is a good one. <laughs> no, buddy. I don't think you know you can hook No. Oh, love there it. he goes. <laughs> this is what it's about right here. All right, here we go. Get his head. Here he goes. Bring him, bring him, bring him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't fit in the net. That's where we come from right now. That's what it's about right there, coming down to the snake. Rainbow, two-footer, sight fish. Dave's acting all nonchalant like he does this every day. <laughs> it's all good stuff. You got a big smile on your face. He yeah, knows I'm yeah. gonna buy him a nice cold beverage here in a little while. You want me to catch more fish, don't you? I do. Let's go yeah. back up here and have a look. While I was living a dream on the water, the girls were experiencing something in the area that was equally famous for horseback riding in some gorgeous country. Oh, now we're headed down to uh, the next spring down the, down the line. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's a beast, Jonathan. Hey, we're coming that way with the boat.
Big girthy, yeah. you know, what, 26 inches? 26. You know, 26. over six pounds. Oh. Good pay, good job, man. Yeah. That was awesome. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Natural Retreat started as a family vacation company. The whole idea behind it is to, to take families and sort of reintroduce them to the outdoors, take them to beautiful places and have them stay in an incredible accommodations. So you've got something for the kids, you've got something for the parents, uh, you have that, that total experience. One of the things that I really pride myself on is the quality of our guide staff and the depth of our staff. And we put time into training new guides and I think it sets us apart. As the trip is drawing to a close, you really begin to savor every cast. You can hear that clock ticking in your head and you find yourself determined not to waste a minute. I'm just grateful I had a guide as good as Jonathan to keep the fish coming. All right, well, we're gonna start off here with a, with a dry. So we got a red uh, chubby Chernobyl here as your indicator and we got double droppers. We got a, a rubber leg for stonefly nymph and then a little tungsten redemption them for a mayfly and we're gonna give it a shot here you're going downstream fish wants to go upstream they're acrobatic they're airborne they're ornery <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look pretty Good thank job. you brother you know that first cast you said two feet and i was thinking that was four feet <laughs> you should always listen to your god right Okay, there's one. 49 more if we get quick this morning. That's cool. So is that brown? Little, little brownie, yeah. Oh, nice. Jonathan, thank you, man. Well done. One a minute. One a minute. Let's go get some more. You got it, brother. You know, I think Curtis has, has done a lot of fishing back east, and is, I think he got to Idaho, and he found some of these wild uh, trout to be a challenge. It's yeah, a fish. It's a fish. It's a good one. <laughs> All right, man. Oh, man. Hey, honestly, right here, coming right into the falls. Into the falls, brother. Look at this. That's what it's about right there. <laughs> I don't care what you are. I can go home now. I'm happy. But wait a minute. Let me lay in this fish. You I'm got gonna to pull be us kidding. Right, I'm going to pull us right into the, the falls here. We're laying it right in the eddy. All right. Oh, what is he? He's a rainbow. Or a cup bow. Cut bow. He's a hybrid there. Uh, <laughs> See ya. Time. Well done, Cutty Curtis. Time. That falls is the most iconic thing of Idaho, isn't it? That's right. You know, it's, too many people forget to look around. That, that's it. You know, it? you catch the fish, but yeah. you know, it's not the only thing going on. Set it. There he is. There he is. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> oh, are, you, are, are you sure I gotta go back right now? Look at this fish, just full of fire. Oh, it's a big rainbow, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, nice rainbow. All right, lift his head up there. Almost, whoa, whoa, whoa. There he is. <laughs> so this one is the last fish of the day, right? <laughs> yep, yep, you gotta go home. Oh, man, look at this guy. Look at that. Oh, do I have to? Do I have to? <laughs> Say goodbye. Hey, one more fish. <laughs> one more fish. No, no, we're going home. I'm getting, I'm out of here. All right. Everyone, everyone should take a yearly trip. You know what? Your guides are incredible. Your people are incredible. Accommodations are incredible. I know you're proud of what Natural re Retreats represents. Uh, absolutely. I mean, the, the whole team, from the guys on the water to the guys in the lodge, the people back in Virginia yep. at the home office, uh, it's, yep. it's an incredible organization. Jonathan, Thanks so much. This has been a trip of a lifetime. Well, we're going to do it again sometime. 
you know, we did, we, we did some dry fly fishing, we did some nymph fishing. You know, the biggest challenge for me is I get so in tune to fly fishing. I have to tell myself, and especially on this trip, to take a look around and just pinch myself and say, hey, I'm floating the South Fork of the Snake with people that I love, my family. Those of you that have watched Fly Rod Chronicles through the years know how much my family means to me. I am forever grateful for any opportunity I have to take my girls out fishing. Because if there's one thing I know, it's that when you take your kids fishing, you are instilling in them the kinds of values and appreciation of nature and sportsmanship that you can't take for granted. If we want to preserve our outdoor heritage, it's critical we keep our kids involved. Plus, it's just plain fun. 